Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today um, I wanted to show you guys how to enroll smart devices and uh, use them with the automation that Alarm.com provides. Um, so I don't have many automation devices at the moment, I'm still waiting on uh, some more to come in, but what I do have though is a Z-Wave dimmer light, and I'm going to enroll that on the system, and I do want to show you guys how the rules and scenes work. Um, so as I get more devices, I'll definitely show more of the smart device adding and what you can do with them, things like that. But to start, um, we're just going to enroll this light and then we will go from there. So uh, anyway, uh, here we are at the home screen of our alarm.com demo system. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, and this is doable on a phone as well. Honestly, it's probably easier on a phone, but it is easier for me to record on the computer. So um, what we need to find is the manage devices menu. Um, so to do that on a computer, you're going to go to the settings button um, on the phone app. It is actually in the drop down menu that pops up on the left side of the, the app. Um, I'll show a picture real quick there. But um, anyway, this section right here, the manage devices is what we're looking for. So whenever you click this, it's going to bring up everything that is attached to your alarm.com account. So it has my phone here, it has the system, it has the couple of door contacts and the living room motion that I added. If we want to add a new device um, up here at the top right, there is an add device button on the phone. There is a plus button in the bottom right corner and I'll show a picture there. But once you click add device, it's going to ask you what type of device you are looking to add. Uh, so this is a light. So we're going to click the lighting and appliance control button. And these are all lights and switches that alarm.com has tested and has uh, basically install wizards for. So if you get any of these devices and you're going to enroll them on alarm.com, they actually have specific directions so that it's a little bit easier. You don't have to go back and forth from the equipment manual to alarm.com and, and all that. This will just walk you through it. It'll tell you exactly how to get it enrolled. The light we have is not one of these though. So I'm gonna click on other device. Um, and what the other device does is it brings up a wizard for just basic enrollment. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. It's going to put our system into add mode. While it's in add mode, we can now trigger the Z-Wave device to pair up. So for this light, basically all you do is turn it off and on, and then it triggers the signal to go out to the Z-Wave controller. The IQ panel just picked it up. That's what that dinging was. So it has got device found and it is connecting that light to the network. So this can take a second, but basically um, once it is finished connecting, it is gonna ask you to name the device. Um, I'm not gonna change the name right now, but anyway, right there you can put the name and then click next. And then when you are done, click done. Now, if you have more devices, you can go through that again um, and just continue adding all of the devices. IQ panel just registered. I guess the light is on. But now that you can see on my homepage, uh, there is a lights card here in the bottom right. So if I click on this, this is going to give me options for adjusting the brightness of the light as well as just turning it off or on if I want to. Um, so that is, I mean, you can control that directly from here. Uh, as you add new lights, more lights will pop up on here and you can adjust each one of them. Um, all of the Z-Wave devices that you add to alarm.com will come with a card that goes on your home screen and you can disable those if you want or you can keep them there for easy access. Um, what I would like to show now though is the automation side of alarm.com. So now that we have a Z-Wave light on here, um, there is a rule that I created earlier messing around with this. So I'm gonna delete that real quick, but rules on alarm.com have an if then type logic or a when then according to this. 
but basically uh, if you click on either the icon over here or you click select here uh, basically when uh, let's say for example um, a sensor the front door sensor is opened done then we can use this light and then it's going to ask you turn on turn off or dim so what we can do is choose turn on and that way with this rule in place what's going to happen is anytime we open that front door it is going to turn on the light you can restrict the time settings for this if you want so um, let's say you know only after sunset or you can set like specific times during each day or you could just run it at all times but once you've done all of that you can come up here to name it. I'm just going to do one, two, three. You can name it whatever you want. One important thing about the rules, the more stuff you have on here, the more rules you're going to want to make. So the more rules you have, the harder it is to keep track of them. So I do suggest naming them something that's easy to remember so that you can go directly to it if you ever need to adjust it. But anyway, once you've created your rule, you're going to click save. And now I have this rule up here so that anytime my front door sensor is tripped, that light will turn on. Let's say you have a Z-Wave light inside your entry door next to the keypad and it's late at night. As soon as you open that door, that light's going to come on so that you can see to disarm the system. Or alternately, you could just use alarm.com to disarm it. But, um, you know, the options are there either way. But now that we've created a rule, um, I'll get more in depth on these the more things we add to the system. I haven't uh, received in the items that I would like yet, uh, but I will be adding more, showing more videos about different devices. Um, and once we get there, I'll show you the different types of rules that can be set up for you know, each situation. Um, the more creative you are, uh, the more you can do with your automation devices. But uh, for now, quick overview is what we're doing. So uh, up here at the top under automation, you will see a scenes button. So we're going to click on that. And these are already created scenes that alarm.com gives you. If you have alarm.com, you've seen them, you might play with them, you might use them. Um, but as soon as you start adding Z-Wave devices or smart devices, you can uh, start incorporating those smart devices into your scenes. So like let's take sleep for example um, if we go to edit the sleep scene uh, by default uh, this is actually not on by default but by default uh, the system will arm stay and that's all it's going to do for sleep mode um, one thing i do recommend is turning on the no entry delay that takes off the delay times on your entry doors so um, if you're asleep at night you don't want you know however long your entry delay is before your system goes off so if you turn on that no entry delay if any sensor is tripped even if it's an entry zone it is going to uh, set off the system immediately so i do recommend turning that on but this down here is what we're here for so as you can see there's light nine which is the light that i just added uh, this little plus icon on the left determines whether or not that light is attached to this scene. So if we click the plus, it is going to give me options to uh, turn on, turn off, or adjust the brightness of the light. So since this is a sleep scene, um, I'm going to choose to turn the light off. So you can be laying in bed, click that sleep scene, it's going to turn off your lights, and it's going to arm the system in no entry delay, armed stay. So, once you're done setting this up, you can click save. And now anytime I use that sleep scene, it's gonna turn my lights off. Alternately, I can turn on the wake up scene. And what that does is when you get up in the morning, uh, you can click that and it will disarm your system so that nobody trips it. Um, and you can also add the light and turn on the lights. Now, 
when I wake up, I don't much care for too much bright light. So uh, with this dimmer light, it's kind of handy. You can set it to about 40% or so. And that way you get light, but it's not overwhelming. Once you've done that, click save. And now my sleep and wake up scenes are more interactive and automated, which just allows you to better utilize the alarm.com service as well as smart devices. So now that's really all I wanted to go over today. I will get more in depth on this. I, I do want to set up like my own scene, like come up with some custom rules and stuff. I'm just waiting on some Z-Wave devices to come in. So once they are in, uh, I will go ahead and start on that and get those videos out for you guys so that you can start doing your own creative stuff with the automation through alarm.com. Um, but for now, uh, hopefully this is a little bit of insight into what you can do with the automation, how it works, um, kind of what you're capable of doing. Honestly, um, between the rules and the scenes, the only thing really limiting you is your creativity, um, your imagination with uh, the smart devices you have. So if you guys have alarm.com and you have the automation side, start playing around with these rules and scenes. And You know, if you're interested in alarm.com service or uh, would like to know more about it, you can always hit us up at alarmsystemstore.com. Uh, give us a call, send us an email, whatever. Um, over it with you show you how it works talk about how we do the services and things like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this i know it's just a quick little uh, short tutorial but it is important to know how to utilize alarm.com to the fullest because i've noticed a lot of people um, our customers and other people that have alarm.com um, if i ever talk to them they're just not really utilizing as much as you can with uh, the services provided to you so Hopefully this will influence people out there to start playing around more with these rules and scenes and you know maybe do some cool stuff with uh, the automation side of it. So uh, anyway, uh, I will let you guys go. And, uh, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but I will catch you guys on the next one.